Lamarck was one of those scientists who is known for his contribution of a wrong theory to its evolution, when he should have been known for his critical observation towards how characters are moving from one generation to another. Through his observations, he postulated two theories. First one is theory of use and disuse, and the second one is inheritance of the acquired characters. The theory of use and disuse and inheritance of the acquired characters tend to walk around the idea where a character propagates and is positively selected if that character is used more throughout the course of an organism's lifetime. If it is not used so often, the character tends to disappear and the subsequent generations never acquired the characters. For example, it was thought that the giraffes were short-necked in the beginning. So they were consuming leaves from the short-heighted trees and as the population increased, they started eating more of the short trees. As the short trees were diminishing, the giraffes tried extending their necks to get leaves of the long trees. This trend was flourished through generations and eventually the giraffes developed long necks which was apparently a necessity. Since they used their necks very often their long necks got propagated and got stabilized as a permanent character in the course of evolution. So this was the basic idea of Lamarckism which eventually turned out to be obsolete as Darwin came along and gave his natural selection theory. But one thing that Lamarck did was to lay the foundation of evolution and he also came up with the idea that something is there which is getting propagated from one generation to another, which we today know as genes.